Hey there. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you for downloading the Dairy Package mockup. I really hope you find this product helpful uh, on your own projects. So when you download the uh, the zip file, you're gonna go. You're gonna find uh, a couple of PSDs uh, and the bonus one as well. And I'm gonna. I open. I went ahead and opened all the uh, PSDs here, so you can uh, we can check them out. You'll have all the all dairy products, which are all the uh, products in one shot. Uh, then we have the single box, uh, the single school box, the small one, and then the small milk box, and we have the mock-up uh, for the uh, yogurt cup. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you and tweak and customize the uh, single box because it's easier so we can focus on uh, one product. Uh, but just uh, keep in mind that all, all of the rest are using the same principle and the same uh, color coding uh, and the same naming. All right, so if you have any questions, uh, just let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, so the first thing you're gonna notice when you open this up, you're gonna have uh, a couple of uh, layers, which is which are really uh, clear and simple. You're gonna have change the box faces, which are the graphics on the box. Uh, then you're gonna have the change color cap. Uh, and then you have the secondary uh, color, which is the gray uh, or the white one. Uh, then you have the main, which is the blue. And then you have the change background color. Uh, first, I'm going to start with uh, the box faces, the graphics, and then we're going to tweak the uh, the colors. All right, so first, I'm going to go ahead and just double click on the change box faces. All right, so when you open up the smart object, uh, what you're going to see is you're going to have uh, the front graphics uh, on the left side and the side graphics on the right side. I also went ahead and added uh, two shapes uh, just to make it easier for you uh, to see when you're going to add your own graphics but just make sure you hide these uh, when you save the smart object all right so i'm going to go ahead and hide these uh, just to add some new graphics as you can see i added like a couple of uh, guidelines just to make it easier uh, so you know where to to place uh, the object for the front face and the side face all right so for the graphics i'm going to use this guy i designed this guy uh, way back so I'm going to go move it here. I'm going to do flip horizontal. And I'm just going to put this fella down here. OK. And I'm going to hit save. All right. So now if you go to the milk box, you're going to see the fella just appears on the box. And you see how nicely it fits uh, from the front side to the, uh, from the, front to the side. Uh, really seamless. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add, maybe add a logo here, maybe some new text. All right, so we go back. I'm gonna go and add a logo here. I'm gonna add just my logo. All right. So add this here. On this, I'm gonna use this dark color. And on the side, I don't know. I'll just use the Lorem, Lorem Ipsum. Black, can tweak the size, the text. All right. Now, if we hit save, go back to the box. As you should see here's the logo, and here's the text on the side. Really easy, really simple to to change and tweak. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe add a couple of, uh, you know, the, the logos that you get in the in the bonus file. I'm gonna go ahead and add the honor the honor badge as well. And maybe change the color of these. All right. I'll save it. And you can see the changes. Uh, now let's go ahead and uh, change the color. So to change the color, it's really simple. Just go down to the change primary uh, change box primary color, which is the this one. Uh, double click on it. I just made it simple. It's like a smart object with a fill color. So you just double click on the fill color, and you know you select the uh, the color that you want. All right. So I'm gonna save this, close it. And you're going to see uh, just uh, the color. 
All right, so I might go ahead and move the uh, the logo a bit, uh, just so it fits. Uh, that's better. All right, and for the secondary color, I think I'm going to use black. So I'm going to go change box secondary color. And for this one, I'm going to go with maybe a darker gray. All right, save this. And there we go. And then and here you, you, you'll need to go back and change the uh, the colors of the text and the and the graphics as well. Here's what I, what I said about the these boxes because you're gonna help you you know uh, see. I might use maybe the the orange from the cape for the logos, just so it looks better. So uh, as I said, don't forget to hide these because if you just save like this, what is gonna happen? You're gonna see these colors appear, and you, you don't want that. So just make sure to hide them, and hit save then. And you're gonna see uh, the graphics that you added. All right, so now, if you look here, you're gonna see like a couple of folders which are locked. Uh, I just added a lock to these, so you can, uh, they're just, you, can uh, you just don't move them uh, by mistake. All right, so, if you go into the box one, you're going to see a couple of uh, options that would gives you more control. Uh, like, for example, if you want more more light to hit the, the box, just double click on the levels, you know, and you'll see uh, the box is going to be lighter. Uh, I just added that control in case you want the light hitting the box to be to be stronger. All right. Or maybe you want less of that light. You do have that control. I'm gonna go back history. Again, if you need more specular, uh, more reflection on the box, you can uh, select the specular layer and go to add. You're gonna see this is what we had when it was screen, and this is what we have with add. If you want even more, what you're gonna do is you can go ahead and duplicate this layer. And duplicate layer. Okay, you can see. Uh, what I like to do sometimes is I would I like to add a bit of bloom to to my renders and to do that you just go to filter uh, blur just add some Gaussian blur and if you add this to screen you'll see it adds a nice a nice bloom on the on the reflection just something something extra uh, again with the reflect if you go down a bit you're gonna see a layer called reflect uh, if you hide this you're gonna see this adds a bit of reflection and again, you can change this to add, and it's going to give more reflection, and it's more visible if you look uh, on the cap area. Again, if you want even more uh, reflection, you can uh, go ahead and duplicate uh, duplicate the layer, and as you can see, you'll get even more reflection uh, on the box. Uh, I just left these in just to give you more control for the look that you're going for. All right. And the occlusion one, it, what it does, it adds, uh, you can see it better if I switch it back to the, the gray. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in history. Uh, so here's the area. It's like shadows in the occluded uh, regions. And if you go to the box and you scroll down, here's the occlusion. You'll see there are two of them. Uh, if I go ahead and uh, duplicate this guy, I'm going to go duplicate layer. All right. And I go to 100 fill. You'll see it's going to add more shadow here, more shadow on the under the under the cap. Uh, you can even make it stronger if you go to color burn. Uh, you're going to see it even stronger, All right? So it just adds more uh, contact shadows and uh, in the occluded areas. All right. Uh, so you do have that uh, level of control if if you need to. Okay, now for the uh, cap color, uh, to change the cap color, you just go to change cap color and just, uh, again, you can make this red. Uh, let's save that. And you're going to see the cap changes color instantly. All right. Now for the last one, I'm going to just go back. So it, for the last one is uh, I'm going to go ahead and change the background color. To change the background color, just duplicate, uh, double click, change background color. And you can change it here. You can go, uh, I'm going to go maybe with this, like an orange. All right. 
And you see I added a nice uh, spotlight effect uh, just so it, it looks uh, re it looks like as, as if there is a spotlight hitting behind the, uh, the product box. You can see it here. Now uh, you can actually tweak that as well. So if you go here under the effects, you can, you can see uh, two gradient overlays. One is uh, for the uh, for the outer, and the second one is uh, for the inner. Just adds that nice uh, glow in the middle. So you can you can go ahead and uh, and tweak this to your liking. All right, and uh, that's about it. If for the for the other ones for the dairy, as I said. I use the same principle. The only difference here is what I what I did is I added each one in their own boxes, so it's easier for you to uh, to tweak. So if you want to customize the green box, you just go customize green box, and uh, you know let's go and change the primary color on this, uh, make it uh, cyan, save it, see, and if you want to change the cap color, uh, make this darker blue see and if you want to change the uh, the faces of the design just change box faces and you see the graphics for the front and the side if I want to change the color here and save it you're gonna see just how easy it is to you know to add your own graphics and your own logo uh, to these uh, again, if you have any questions, uh, just let me know and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. All right, thanks.